Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome. If you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Okay, so I bought these 3D wall panels from Amazon with the well, some of the teacher money that I got from the teacher of the month thing. Um, so I did have it out. The instruction is that you have it in the area that you're going to put it for 24 hours. I did want to change the wall the old entryway so this project is part of a bigger project that we're working on um, and we'll be posting that soon so this is what the panel looks like you could put the panel on the wall by itself and that would look so so nice but uh i i like to change things up most of the time i think i'm like my mother always change in the place so i like to change things up so i thought i would do it this way i hope you guys enjoy so i did take myself again to home depot everything's at home depot all that you need um to look for a piece of wood or panel and this was what i found to put the um the 3d wall art on you can always change your wall by adding paint, um, by putting a, a 3D piece on there, or you could also do wall shelves. So I got what I needed. The guy cut it for me. Here we are in the cart, all excited, ready to go home. So I took it to my garage and I started painting, you know, the outer portion of the pieces because I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do quite yet. Um... There's my little helper doing her portion of the painting. Yes, I wasn't sure what I was going to put on the end. But here's what it looks like. I did paint it, kind of laid on there to see what it would look like. And now all I'm going to do is use tape. I did use um, scotch tape, double-sided tape. Um, to glue this on so all I did was I I put it on the the corners as you can see speeding up a bit so you want to make sure that you line this up properly because when it goes down it's down so basically this mounting tape does exactly what it says it will do hold it in place and now we're going to add the bling it's quite simple. It, it, it might have gone by fast, but it's quite simple. So all I'm using here is the E6000 glue. This is really, really good, but it comes with a very strong scent. So I recommend leaving this in your garage so that it can dry. Yeah, because it does come with a strong scent. So all I'm doing here is adding my bling bling on the outer portion just to kind of finish it off. I'm going in and filling the smaller spaces. Um, there's a close-up of what's going on. And it's pretty much all done. I did have to cut the excess. Like if you look on the edge. Slay. Yes. I did have to cut the excess. But I think it turned out pretty good. It does not take long at all. The hardest part I want to say was going to home depot yeah that's the hardest part so there's the excess right there i did cut that off so that it looks nice and finished all right here it is the finished product you guys i think it came out better than i expected what do you think son i think it looks awesome it does so be sure to so comment and subscribe and like please i hope you guys enjoyed the video bye all right thank you so much for watching and if you do try this let me know you can do it on the entire wall if you like i hope you find this helpful thanks so much for stopping by bye, bye.